Hey everyone, Tamayas here. Welcome to another Princess Connect video. So we just got the announcement that uh, the new clan battle, uh, the main one, will be happening on the 19th. And uh, it's pretty much in line with uh, what I thought initially. Um, I had it in my last video that the main clan battle was probably going to be on the 19th and the 20th. Um, so the first day of the clan battle, we will be getting the N2. However, I really think that um, if we had N2 starting, for example, today or tomorrow, it will really help us gear our units better. But now we're almost forced to do six refreshes, plus solely focus on the clan battle units uh, from a priority point of view. Um, before uh, committing our stamina to anywhere else. And if you haven't watched my latest video, I have a checklist that you can copy um, based on uh, prioritization on the gearing, uh, high, medium to low. Uh, it should help you sort out what you want to um, equip uh, gear-wise. So um, this is a uh, this is going to be an in-depth review uh, on the May clan battle boss units, and I'm going to show you the techniques of uh, or the the skills of the two boss units uh, that will be facing that are brand new to us. However, going over at the first three uh, bosses that we'll be getting in May, it's actually the same as the March, which is our second clan battle. We'll be getting the Wyvern again, so good old friends, um, our Wyvern, the Griffin, as well as the Orc Chieftain. So the Wyvern is going to be fairly simple. Um, it's going to be the Kaori Team 1, probably just auto through everything. Um, and again, I think this time what's going to be different is I will be releasing some videos regarding auto teams. Um, so other uh, players can copy um, as well as uh, refining them for the Wii Auto Clan Battle Clan. Because now it's uh, three clans strong. Um, so I'll, I'll be posting some of that. Um, but obviously if um, the members of the Wii Auto Battle Clan refine that, um, I'm not going to upload the, the refined um, videos uh, just because you know they did the work themselves and uh, hopefully that gains them the uh, uh, competitive advantage. Um, so back to the topic, the first uh, boss is going to be Wyvern. Um, so nothing's changed there. Um, it's fairly straightforward. We fought the Wyvern and the Griffin for the past three clan battles already. And like I said, Team 1, Kokoro Team, Kaori Team is going to be best for Wyvern. And then the Auto Team 2 with uh, the Battery Wolf, which is Seren Makoto, is going to be probably what everyone's going to use um, from um, a casual, semi-competitive point of view on the Griffin. Um, so the third boss this time around is the Orc Chieftain. Uh, last time I think we had a return for, uh, for the plant uh, boss, but this time it's the Orc Chieftain. Um, so the Orc Chieftain, uh, if you don't remember from before, he's got a defense shred on skill 1, and then a UB um, on uh, three of the uh, enemy, uh, that means your units, and they're going to be physical, and they're going to have a stun as well. So for that, uh, let's just go to the unit data. Um, pre-cal um, the uh, physical defense shred is going to be uh, two targets so usually your tank and whoever is behind and then the union burst is up to three targets and it also stuns as well um, it's going to be quite strong starting loop two um, the physical defense shred lines up with the UB timing uh, if you don't use units like um, Tamaki for example and that's going to pretty much kill your uh, front line um, so this time around uh, Tamaki and tanks again in loop 2 is going to be uh, probably the play. Um, the Orc Chieftain I think is even stronger than the last one in terms of stats uh, in this clan battle. So definitely uh, we will see the plays from the tanks as well as ta Tamaki because of the UB um, manipulation. So going to the new bosses that will be facing this clan battle, first is the Dark Horse and second is the Mr. Crab. So I'll just go over um, kind of their skills. So the Dark Horse, it's quite unique. The Union Burst of uh, the unit is a single target magic attack. It's quite high damage. Um, it aims at the highest physical attack unit on your team, plus it drains the TP pretty much completely. Um, and then the first skill for the Dark Horse is an, an uh, AOE dot on the um, highest physical attack unit on your team. And uh, the dot also has a small radius, so it's going to, uh, for example, I'll show you in the video, it's going to land on Shuri and it's going to affect uh, Mitsuki as well. Um, so let's just play this video. So I've slowed this down so we can probably see better. So the first skill is going to come out. So this is the skill one, which you'll see it's a magical attack on the highest uh, physical attack unit, uh, which right now in this case is Shuri. 
and you see the dot is applied. You can see the icon on both Shuri and uh, Mitsuki. And um, later on, you'll see the unit burst of this unit. Um, so just fast forward. So here we go. So the unit burst, again, like I said, it's a single target. Um, it's going to aim at Shuri because on this team, Shuri is the highest uh, physical attack. And uh, you can watch the Shuri TP bar, it's gonna go uh, to zero. Well, it kills, but um, you can see that it's uh, minus 2450 uh, in loop two for the TP bar. So pretty much wipes your entire TP bar and it, it does uh, quite a lot of damage. Um, so the mechanic behind this is that the attack is actually tauntable. Um, so units like Kuka, units like um, Nozomi uh, can taunt this attack. And uh, instead of going to the highest physical attack unit on the team, it will go to the uh, taunter. So either um, uh, Nozomi or Kuka in this case. I think there will be a lot of uh, variations of um, teams that you can use on this boss. Uh, again, um, initially, um, I'll post the ID on the first day of clan battle and uh, you can see what uh, auto teams are uh, being used on the first day. Um, next we have Mr. Crab. So Mr. Crab is um, really unique in the sense that, well first it has uh, a um, uh, berserk phase um, and then at 50% HP it actually turns red. Um, so <laughs> it's really funny because we used to call it that um, it, it's ready as in it's roasted so that's why it's it's turned red uh, under 50% um, it's got a unique mechanic um, because it has a lower uh, magical defense than physical defense um, so obviously mages are going to shine here and uh, also uh, unique in the sense that one of its skill has a radius of 200 so it makes a the Ilya team viable actually because what happens is during the enraged phase um, it's going to use its skills more frequently but however because Ilya is so far behind position wise the AOE skill actually does not hit Ilya so you're actually immune to this skill one completely um, that's why the mages are coupled with um, the Mr. Krabs lower magical defense and the fact that Ilya can dodge the uh, skill one makes the mage team a lot stronger during the enrage phase. So going over its skills, the Union Burst is a team-wide magical attack uh, skill plus a physical defense shred and the skill one is the AOE physical attack plus a six second stun. Uh, and skill 2 is just a uh, weaker team-wide AOE, uh, which is physical attack. So you can see here, um, in terms of animation, this is the physical attack, uh, so skill 1. Um, you saw that it hit everyone in 200 um, distance radius, and the Seren, because she's a bit, a bit more behind, she's not affected by that as well. Um, but Makoto, Jun both hit and stunned. Um, so this is the UB, and the UB is just going to be a team-wide magical attack. Uh, which doesn't hurt too much, um, but obviously um, the stun, uh, both 6 seconds is quite a bit. Um, I still think physical teams will be used uh, initially, um, maybe pre-enraged or loop 1, just because in terms of defense shredding, the physical team can shred a lot more. Um, so we, again, we'll have to do testing on the global server to see what things look like. Um, and I know not everyone has the uh, units um, that are needed to uh, have the mage team, because you essentially need 4 out of the 5 of Ilya, Kyoka, um, Kyaru, Akari, as well as Misato, or just another flex DPS. Um, and then during Rage, like I said, it's uh, the crab is going to use the skill one more frequently. Um, so it's going to uh, make your front lines uh, a lot less um, tanky um, because it's just going to keep smashing the um, uh, the front lines with the physical AOE attack and stunning them. Um, so again, this is why mages during Rage will be better. So that is a quick revision or review of the upcoming May clan battle and the units involved. Um, the first three we already know from previous clan battles, good to see them again. And then uh, the two new bosses with unique mechanics are always cool to have and um, expect to see the rise of uh, mage teams at least uh, during this clan battle. Uh, we actually will not have to worry too much about our third team with all the flex DPS, but rather just throw one of the uh, the mages at um, the fifth boss. 
Um, so yeah, that ends the revision uh, or the, the review of the video. So I'll have more videos uh, coming up in the next few days. I'll probably record them in a batch <clears throat> because work's going to be a bit busy. Um, I'll just have them on a schedule release, um, but it's going to be focused more on the clan battle mechanics. I want to create a mini series before the, at least way before the 17th or the 19th uh, to make sure that the We Auto Clan Battle 2 and 3 are going to be caught up um, and also new guild leaders or other um, guilds can use this guide to, uh, to catch up and um, hopefully have everyone on the same page uh, in terms of mechanics.